Hi, my name is Ali Katanis. I am a New South Wales State Finalist for Miss World Australia, and this video is going to be about how I stay healthy at home. The last few months have been incredibly difficult for all of us. Whether you've been in a stage one lockdown, a stage four lockdown, you've been asked to work from home, or you've been studying from home, things have been incredibly difficult. And one thing that I have found really difficult is keeping up with a healthy and balanced lifestyle. For so long, we didn't have access to gyms, to exercise classes. I love going to do yoga and Pilates and I wasn't able to do that. Also, being at home for so long had me feeling incredibly unmotivated to cook all the time. I was running out of ideas for things to eat and I was so tempted to just order takeout, which obviously is not a very healthy option. But a couple months ago, I decided I was going to revamp my at-home lifestyle for the next few months so that I can be happier and healthier. And these are my tips for what you can do to be happier and healthier at home as well. Probably the number one thing that I have found has completely changed my attitude and my outlook on staying healthier in lockdown is waking up early. At the beginning of lockdown, it was so tempting to sleep in, waking up at eight o'clock, maybe even later, depending on the day. But I actually found myself getting more tired. I felt super sluggish. I wasn't getting anything done in the day because I just wasn't feeling motivated. And I found that waking up earlier has completely changed that. I feel so much more excited to get on with my day, to get everything that I need to get done. So I wake up every morning at 6.30, might be a little too early for some, 7 o'clock or 7.30 will do just fine depending on what works best for you. I wake up early, I make myself a coffee, make myself some breakfast, and then I exercise. I try to have a super light breakfast to start my morning, something really healthy with a lot of fiber. So I have some yogurt with granola. That is kind of my go-to easy breakfast that I know is healthy, I know is good for me, and it takes literally two seconds to make, and it is super yummy. <laughs> now the next step is, of course, a very important. Exercise is so important, not just for your physical health, but also for your mental health, which I think is also really important to be looking after at the moment. Being indoors all the time is driving me a little bit insane and I can imagine it's driving all of you insane as well. And exercising every day has actually really helped put myself in a more positive frame of mind. Now, of course, not all of us have access right now to equipment or even access to a gym or the exercise classes that we all know and love. So I have found that the best solution for me has been to download a fitness app on my phone. I have found that my favorite app for this has been an app called FitOn. This is what it looks like when you first open it. At the top of it, it has some exercises that have been pre-selected for you based on the information that you provided when you created an account. Might I say it is also completely free. However, my favorite part of the app is if you click on the browse page, you have access to both live online classes that are streamed and also a number of on-demand classes in a bunch of different categories. My absolute favorite part of the app is there's actually a celebrity section and I do my yoga class with Jonathan Van Ness from Queer Eye as my instructor. I absolutely love Queer Eye and Jonathan is one of my favorites on the show. So to wake up with something that is so positive and uplifting and also really fun has really made a world of difference in motivating me to exercise more. There are a bunch of different options on the app. And of course there are so many different apps out there that you could use depending on what works best for you. This is just my personal favorite. And I feel like it has made exercising from home so much easier and more enjoyable as well. The next thing that is of course super important is healthy eating, taking care with the food that you are eating, making sure that it is things that your body needs and that it is good for you. As I mentioned earlier, I start my day pretty much every day with some yogurt and granola, which is a great, really simple and healthy option to start your day. Of course, there are so many other options. You could have avocado toast, you could have eggs, there's so much variety, as long as you are doing something that makes you happy and gives you a nice energetic start to the morning. Where I started to become a little bit unstuck when it came to healthy eating at the moment is lunch and dinner. Having to cook so much at home had me just feeling really not very motivated to actually get in the kitchen and cook. I was running out of ideas, running out of things to do, and I had absolutely no idea how to fix that. So I decided that I would start making things that I found fun and finding healthier ways to make them. For example, I absolutely love Mexican food. If I am eating out, it is probably my go-to. So I started finding different ways that I could make Mexican food at home that was healthier than what I would be eating if I was eating out. I eat a lot of nachos, a lot of burrito bowls, but of course I find a healthier alternative for them. 
I load my meals up with as much homemade things as I can. I make my own guacamole, I make my own salsa, all using organic ingredients that I bought at my local grocery store. Rather than buying prepackaged meals or salsa that has been in a can, anything that might have preservatives or things that aren't so good for you. This has made it really easy to eat things that I'm craving. If I'm craving something that's a little bit sugary, how can I make it healthier for me? If I'm craving a burger, what can I do to make a healthier burger at home? It makes cooking at home fun and easy and still healthy for you. But of course, something that is just as important for a healthy diet is balance. Take a page out of Gigi Hadid's book, eat a burger if you feel like a burger. It is okay to have a cheat meal every now and then, to have a little bit of chocolate or something that makes you happy. Because at the end of the day, if all you're eating is salads and it's making you miserable, you're not actually being healthy. So keeping as balanced as possible and just making sure that you're getting as much fresh produce into you as you can while still having the foods that you love is so important in lockdown. And finally, probably, one of the most important things I've talked about is looking after your mindfulness. I mentioned earlier that mental health is super important to be looking after right now. This is a really difficult time for us all and it's okay to be struggling. And one of the best things that we can do is little steps that look after our mental health so that we are the best version of ourselves that we can be. For me, the easiest way for me to be mindful has been meditating using a guided meditation app all about the apps at the moment. Whatever we can get on our phones to help us through this time, I think is great, especially when they are free. My favorite meditation app has been an app called Smiling Mind. These are the programs that I am going through at the moment. They have a range of completely free meditation programs that are suited towards the needs that you might have and it is super easy to use. Of course, there are so many meditation apps out there. Headspace is another great one. Um, Calm is another really great one and if you like Harry Styles they have a bedtime story that is read by Harry Styles so that is definitely a win but for me Smiling Mind has been the easiest one because it is organized into programs and you can do one step every day and then it helps you develop your own mindfulness practice. I have found that doing meditation every day has genuinely improved my mood so much. You can actually track your mood within Smiling Mind and check how you respond to different things. And I have seen on the chart how much better and more of an improvement I've seen in my own happiness and my own feeling of determination and motivation every day. Doing each of these things has truly made a world of difference for me when it comes to keeping not only healthy, but also happy in quarantine. I feel like I am the absolute best version of myself. So even though I might be working and studying from home, I am in the best position to do so. So I hope that some of these tips also help you guys feel healthier and happier as well. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe to the Miss World Australia YouTube page and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.